Hi, Arno. So I'm really glad that you decided to take this suggestion and uh, do more essays. I know your exam is in two days. Wow. So let's see how fast we can get these back to you, how fast you can write us more, and let's see what kind of progress we can make over the next couple of days. All right, let's take a look at this crop production. The pie chart provided illustrates the production of six different types of crop, which were harvested in France in 2017. Good. Overall, wheat, barley, sugar, and especially cotton represented the main percentage of the total harvest, whereas rice and corn meant a sin insignificant part of it. Um, that's fine. I don't like the word meant. It doesn't feel really precise. You could have said instead, uh, accounted for. That would have been nice. Um, since you already wrote represented. Um, let's see. Overall, the dog represented the main percentage of the total harvest. Um, whereas rice and corn accounted for, yeah, uh, whereas, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's some sort of cohesive way we could do this, and there certainly are, um, but I think if you had just said accounted for instead of meant, that would have been good. Let's keep going, okay? As mentioned before, uh, cotton was the most harvested crop in 2017. It's specifically, nah, here it is, look accounted for not counted for all right accounted for more than two-thirds of the total share with one two-thirds of the total share with 34.4 well then you mean one-third not two careful two-thirds is over 66 percent so you really don't want to be um um imprecise and inaccurate with your data okay be careful about that with regard to the other main cultivated plants, it is observed that almost three-fifths of the total harvest included sugar, three-fifths, followed by wheat with 20.4, and lastly, barley. Okay, let me see if I understand this. So what are you really telling me here? You're telling me that the three of them together accounted for three-fifths. Okay. Um... Okay, so the first thing you said here about the two-thirds, that was inaccurate, clearly. This is okay, but I want you to be careful. I want to read it one more time to make sure that your figures are accurate and they're expressed accurately. So, with regard to the other main cultivated plants, it is observed that almost three-fifths of the total harvest um, included sugar with this, followed by wheat, and lastly barley all right that's that's fine i have a little issue with the word included i think it's fine i really do but the thing is included means that this plus others okay um so yes i'm mentioning the ones that were there but there were potentially other things as well and i don't know that that's actually the case here so maybe you could have used a word that was more precise than included um you could have said it is observed that almost three-fifths of the total harvest uh were made up by sugar okay you could have said that too all right in contrast the lowest figures were seen in corn and rice crops which barely contributed to five percent without the the of the total annual harvest corn was the least collected type of corn with 1.7 whereas the harvest of rice crops was two times higher than corn with 3.5 of the total share okay um, I like that. I like that you did that two times higher. I thought that was good. That's the kind of thing that I like to see in this type of task, the kinds of comparisons. I like what you did, actually, you know, having seen the whole thing in its entirety. I like this almost three-fifths. That was fine. Um, and I like that you did this. This was two times higher. This kind of language of comparison, I thought you did that well. So there were just other little things like inaccuracy, um, but I definitely felt like you were doing more than just kind of giving me the numbers down the row, giving me those figures. So that was fine. Mm, oh, good. You used the word figures. Excellent. Um, yeah. So I thought this was pretty good. Just a, a couple of those comments that I already mentioned. Those are the things that need to be worked on. Other than that, I thought it was lovely. Okay. Um, outside influence plays a key role. All right, let's see what you said here. Throughout the last decade, many researchers have studied the factors that play a major role in the upbringing process of children. You could have just said in the upbringing of children. We don't really call it the upbringing process. It's not necessary. It's an extra word. 
These investigations have provided clear evidence that parents have indeed a strong influence in their children's in, in their kids' development. However, new evidence seems to point that other social external influence have a great impact on their development as well. I personally agree with this view and will provide arguments and proof to support it. All right, I like that. The only thing that kind of made me mm, say not so great is this word kids. Now, the thing is, is uh, kids is really informal. Uh, IELTS is not necessarily an academic essay, not in the, in the true sense of an academic essay. Nonetheless, it's kind of a good idea to avoid words like this. So children would have just been a better choice. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, but I said children already throughout the essay, right, children? Well, yeah, that's because sometimes there's no other word for what it is you're trying to express, you know? Like if you're going to write an essay about dogs, you're not going to, you know, call them like canines throughout the thing just because you're trying to look for another word. The word is dog and everyone knows it. So it's kind of the same thing here. Sometimes you have no choice but to repeat the word. Of course, there are other things you can do to avoid it being tiresome, and that's through some really skillful use of cohesion. Let's see if we can talk about it. Let's see if it comes up further on in the essay, okay? But so far, I liked your introduction quite, quite a bit. Firstly, it is important to note how much time children spend away from their families in their early childhood, from their first attendance, mm, I would say in child care centers, to primary school. It is the child's nature to learn and develop their personal life skills just by observing and copying behaviors in this early stage of life. Therefore, they will likely be affected by their... Well, when you're a young child in your early stage of life, it's not a professor. Professor is in university and beyond. So that's the wrong word here. You could have just said they're teachers, okay? Or they're caregivers would have also been nice. The and but then I don't know if that's what you're trying to say. I think you're trying to say they're educators that are outside of the family. So if that's the case, you could have said educators or you could have said teachers. The results of an investigation conducted by the Australian Psychological Society showed that 70% of graduated students hold stronger memories and habits learned from their early teachers rather than the recent ones. Okay, moreover, 80% of graduated students from the same study declared in interviews that their current closest friendships are those made in the first two years of schools. Okay, I don't love this expression, graduated students. You could have just said graduates. So, and then just specify, do you mean high school graduates? Do you mean college graduates? But graduated students is a little awkward and it's not really a very natural expression here. Um, okay, so what you're telling us here is that yes, early school and uh, friendships made there are very influential. Okay, fine. Secondly, the country where a child is born and the cultural, that's the word you want here, I guess you, this must be a typo, and the cultural heritage attached to it have been proved to play a basic role in their, mm, not upgrowing, careful with this, in their growing process would have been fine, or in their upbringing period, okay? Either one of those would have been good here, but upgrowing process is unnatural. As mentioned before, the same copy learning strategies applied here. Children will observe and learn those behaviors which are constantly happening in their social environment. An article published by the APS in 2022 showed the culture, cultural shock produced by, again, graduates who spent one year studying abroad. Older students reported struggles when they first tried to engage with the local community as they were not able to understand social protocols and their own behaviors were often misunderstood by local individuals. All right, I have a lot to say about this paragraph. Let's talk about it as soon as I finish your conclusion. To conclude, it is important to understand how kids, again, I prefer children, can be easily affected and shaped by their surroundings in their first stages of life. New evidence keeps coming up and proving that other social influences are the key for parents to understand how to best educate and raise their children. Therefore, I agree with the former view. All right, careful with this. The former view was so long ago that we have no idea what it is anymore. It's nice to use the former and the latter, but when you use it, what you're referencing must be very, very, very clear, okay? Um, and there are ways to do it. So if you're not sure, there are lots of good references on the internet um, saying how to use the former and the latter. So that's as far as your conclusion is concerned. Now I wanna come back here. I feel like here you kind of lost sight of what the essay was about. I feel like you got a little, a little off topic and it lacked focus, okay? Remember that lacking focus is something 
um, that is looked at under task achievement. So what's the essay about? Yes, parents are responsible, but outside influences play a role. Okay, a key role. To what extent do you agree or disagree? And you said, yeah, I agree. The uh, outside influences play a key role, okay, uh, in raising a child. So here you talked about the outside influence of uh, school and friendships in early childhood, and that was fine. And then here you start talking about the child and the culture, okay? But you started talking about culture shock, and I really did not feel like that whole thing was relevant. I think um, you, it's, when you were talking about culture, remember, what are we comparing here? We're comparing the influence of the parents to the influence of other things that affect the child. So that's what you have to think about. If you were going to talk about culture, it could have been much more helpful to talk about how television plays a role. The shows that children see and the messages that are broadcast to the child. Or what about in music? Like I listen to some of the music that my, my own children listen to. The lyrics are horrifying. So, um, you know, these things though, they are cultural influences, music, television, uh, media, even what the news shows us, these, um, these are influences that can, you know, really shape us. So, and our views and our beliefs and so forth. So when you're talking about culture, I think this would have been a much more convincing argument than what you started talking about, like moving abroad and, you know, having culture shock. This for me didn't seem relevant because there was this, you know, there was supposed to be this comparison with the parents. Now, that's another thing I want to go back to. It's the first sentence in this in this essay, although parents are responsible, outside influences, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you didn't really give me a comparison here. I feel like the essay wanted you to make a comparison, okay? You I felt like you kind of touched on it here. You said that they spend time away from their families, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I was all right with this, but here I definitely felt like there was nothing um, about about parents. I think that in order to have done this really well, it would have been nice to say, for example, um, you know, like parents were, uh, what does it say here? God had stronger memories and habits than recent ones. Let's see, you also said their current closest friendships. All right, maybe you could have said like, just peppered throughout the essay, something to the effect of such was not the case with parents or figures regarding the influence parents played uh, were considerably lower. So kind of just proving that, yeah, these outside influences are really important, whereas the influence of parents um, is less so. So I wanted you to introduce this because it was part of the prompt. Okay. Um, you didn't really talk about parents and I thought you should have, I thought it would have been, um, I thought it was important to this, to have this kind of influence. You decided to just talk about outside influence and really keep the parents out of it. And I don't think that was the right thing to do, especially at the score you're aiming for. Okay. So when you want a seven and up, remember it says covers all parts of the task equally. And yet again, you can see, although parents are responsible, outside influence plays a key role. To what extent do you agree? So you should have covered a little bit about parents. Okay. So that's what I think should have been done here. And as I said, there were a couple of ways you could have done it. You could have simply said, you know, like this comparison in the middle of your paragraphs, this was not the case. Uh, in contrast, the influence of parents was less, these kinds of things. Another thing you could have talked about is maybe even a paragraph about parents, okay, and about the influence they play. And then you could have had an essay saying, despite the influence parents uh, play, it is clear due to various uh, studies conducted that the influence of the child's environment is far more, uh, is far greater. Okay, so something like that also would have been good. Okay, and again, we're talking about all this because I know you're aiming for that seven and higher. So these are some things that I think 
would have helped your task achievement to uh, achieve that. Um, grammar was great. There was no problem. There were some awkward areas with your vocabulary. Um, they weren't super serious, but that whole thing about like graduated students and there were a couple of other places where you use some expressions that were a little awkward and I mentioned them. Those I would like to see a little better too. Although I don't think they're as serious as the topics we're talking about, the issue we're talking about with uh, task achievement, okay? So I'm around. I'm going to be keeping my eye out to see if you send us more essays. I know your exam is coming. So let's get you practiced. Let's get you, um, let's get these back to you. And um, I'll be waiting for your next set. Good luck.